I know you gonna dig this. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Here I am in Seattle, a little suburb of Seattle, and I'm at Greenwood Memorial Park, a cemetery where Jimi Hendrix is buried. Now, normally when I come to cemeteries, I find it very difficult sometimes to find the grave that I'm looking for. This one was no problem at all. It's right, as soon as you're going down the street past the cemetery, and you look into the cemetery, it's very visible. I can see it from a good distance away. It's pretty huge. I'm going to take you closer, we're going to take a look at it, take a look at these grounds, they're beautiful, gorgeous trees here in the Pacific Northwest, obviously. I'm actually allergic to coniferous trees. So Seattle and the Pacific Northwest, you're going to get to me nasally, but I'll get through it. It's not going to bother me at all. I'm so happy to be here. It's a pretty beautiful day out, the sun's just kind of beyond, beyond the clouds. It's a little bright, perfect weather, and I'm here to see Jimmy, and you're coming with me. Let's go. So here it is behind me, the Jimi Hendrix Memorial. Now Jimi is buried here. He was buried in another spot in the cemetery when he first passed away. Then they moved him here to this memorial, made it more of an attraction. I believe they get over 14,000 uh, people a year coming out to see Jimi. And his father and his stepmother are buried here as well. Let's go take a closer look right now. We are honored by your visit. This memorial has been erected in the loving memory of Jimi Hendrix for friends and fans to come reflect. We respectfully ask that you help us pay tribute to Jimi by leaving the memorial tidy and litter free for others to enjoy. Thank you for your consideration. Stay experienced, the Hendrix family. Now this would be his father and his stepmother here. And as I'm looking, it seems that there's other people, other Hendrix family members buried here. I'll show you that in a second. A friend of mine is a distant relative of Jimi Hendrix, my friend Michael Hendrix down in Florida. Michael, brother, I miss you, man, and I'll see you soon. And this is for you, because I know you've always wanted to come out here and see it and you haven't been able to. Here it is. Straight ahead, woman and child, man and wife, the best love to have is love of life. Pass it on. Now they tell you not to vandalize, and I believe these are the lyrics to Voodoo Child. And uh, as the sign just said, they tell you not to vandalize, but people have been writing stuff here, and come on. It's not the place to do it. Scribble stuff like that. So Nora Hendrix, Frank DeWolf Hendrix, Pearl Hendrix Brown, Robert Bob 
Hendrix. All the family members here. The story of life is quicker than the wink of an eye. The story of love is hello and goodbye until we meet again. And there's pictures of Jimmy as a child there. I don't know if you know this, but Jimi Hendrix was left-handed, but he taught himself to play right-handed guitar, which is very, very difficult to do. Incredible musician. That's understated. You know that. Jimi Hendrix is a rock god. There are more Hendrix family members here, and so many of these um, stones here that I guess are for more members of the family that are gonna be buried here. I really just thought it was Jimmy and his father and his stepmother. Wow. Grace Hendricks Hatcher. Nora Hendricks, beloved grandmother. So yeah, all these plots. This is one of the most beautiful memorials I've ever seen. 1942 to 1970. He died in Notting Hill in England. Uh, kind of the way he died is not, uh, not a pleasant way. Suffocated on his own vomit. Some people, there's conspiracy theories that it, you know, it was an actual overdose. Far too young. Far too young. 27 Club, of course. Celebrate his life, though. Right here. Message to love, everybody come alive, everybody love alive, everybody hear my message. And there's a lot of people that have stood right here and kissed the picture of Jimmy. So I'm assuming this is his handwriting, obviously. This, these inscriptions of his song lyrics. She's walking through the clouds with a circus wind that's running wild. Butterflies and zebras, moonbeams and fairy tales. That's all she ever thinks about, riding with the wind. When I'm sad, she comes to me a thousand smiles. She goes to me free, it's all right, it's all right. Take anything you want from me, anything. Fly on the wing. Fly on, my sweet angel, fly on through the sky. Fly on, my sweet angel, help me through the sky. Help me come alive. Take me in your life. Just making another little walk around right now. Make sure I didn't miss showing you anything. There's that across, right? If, right, if you're, this is where I came in, this entrance here. As I was driving by the cemetery. I recognize it right away from pictures I've seen before. I also saw that from the road, which is really, really cool as well. Let's go over there and see what that is. Flower rules. Oh. I thought that was like a cool little saying, like flower rules. But I guess right in here they would have a pamphlet that says, the rules about leaving flowers in places or something. Huh. Somebody's making a sound down there. I guess it would be flowers rule. So flower rules makes more sense. To commemorate the first annual Qingming Festival Greenwood Memorial Park 2006 Garden of Eternal Peace dedicated April 1st, 2006. Very cool. Gorgeous little area in memory of the victims of Hurricane Katrina. Wow. If you're in the Seattle area, 
Tacoma, Olympia, anywhere like that, I highly suggest coming out here taking a look. It's beautiful. It's a perfect day. Yeah, it's a perfect day to visit Jimmy. See all these guitar picks. Oh, that one's coming out. Oh, I can't make sure it stays in there. People come and leave. A lot of them are really stuck in there quite well. That's nice. That's... And people are kissing the guitar too. I'm just not a fan of people writing on the memorial at all. But leaving things like that, it's a little heart, some flowers. Forever in our hearts, James M. Jimi Hendrix, 1942 to 1970. And he's entombed right underneath here, from what I've been told and read about. And the memorial was built around him. Miss you always, sweet man. Peace and love. K and K, 2018. The sentiments are nice for people, right? Miss you always, sweet man. Peace and love, K and K 18. But why not write it on something and leave it here? Instead of writing right on the wall, right? You could write it on something, stick it down there with some tape. It'll be there for a while. All right, so that's it from the Jimi Hendrix Memorial and Gravesite here in Renton, Washington. I believe that's where I am. Just came to me. I think so. It's south of Seattle. You, you'll find it. You'll find it. Come on out here, pay your respects, and then uh, do what I'm gonna do. Go listen to some Jimi Hendrix while you're driving around. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I was just listening to What Is Life by George Harrison. That's a great song too, on my way here. God, I love that song. <sighs> Peace and love to you, Jimi Hendrix. Peace and love to all of you watching. Peace out. Cornell statue outside Mopop. It's got some lyrics inscribed. I am not your rolling wheels, I am the highway. I am not your carpet ride, I am the sky. Chris Cornell, I am the highway. Listen to that song, it's a great song. Chris Cornell. I don't know if I'm gonna make it back to the Museum of Pop to do the rest of it. I could end the video here. I may be back to do it, I don't know yet. But this is an appropriate place for me to end the video right now, sort of. I love Chris Cornell. And I know a lot of you do too. The statue was put here 2018. Well, it's last year. <sighs> Sad. All right. So I may end the video, I don't know yet. I may come back in the morning to do the rest of the tour. I want to see some Star Wars stuff. 
but it's uh, hectic to get back up here from where I'm staying. I want to show you more Seattle. Anyways, peace out. Chris Cornell.